Drop the Gulan! Dragon is like the biggest project. People would think that we are the challenger. Even though in reality, we announced first. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Manila Luzon! No! Manila Luzon is an alumna of Drag Race. Rupert's Drag Race. Um, it's already a uh, fact. Mm -hmm. So, hindi siya... Wala namang plano si Drag then to erase or to like pretend as if Drag Race doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. We do actually. Parang even before filming, alam na namin yun that there's Drag Race, ganyan ganyan. So, um, kami yung mas nag adjust Na parang, yeah, may, may Drag Race Philippines. Mm -hmm. So, kami yung confident ako na dahil even before pa naman mag-announce yung Drag Race, na si Drag Race is very really different. Mm -hmm. Kasi kahit naman walang Drag Race Philippines, compare pa rin kami with RuPaul's Drag Race, for right. example. So, alam ko na yung mga ganitong bagay. So, when Drag Race PH announced, mm -hmm. hindi na ako ganun na parang natakot kasi um, hindi, confident ako kasi iba yung format namin. Iba yung atake ko, iba yung treatment, iba yung vision ko, iba yung gusto kong nangyari. Mm -hmm. This is the drag lord speaking. I just want to inform you that after years... We filmed way before Drag Race. We filmed a month before Drag Race, including the trailer teaser. You know, parang popular opinion. Ang mga nababasa mo kasi ngayon, parang it looks like we got the more budget, di ba? You have to make it look expensive. And that's drag. And it is. Yeah, and that's also drag. You know, kahit gaano ka cheap ang suot mo, it's your job to make it look expensive. So that's what I did with drag then. That's what we did mm -hmm. together with my producers, my team, and I'm I'm happy because we were getting all these impressions. Oh my God! Parang it's it's a compliment mm -hmm. also. Dragon is like the biggest project that I you know na nakuha ko so far. Talagang hindi namin minadale mm -hmm. kumbaga. Parang um, we really took our time. The best way to to present this show to an audience. Um, I think parang at this point kasi people would think that we are the challenger mm. to drag race. Um, parang kami yung humahamon. Even though in reality, we announced first. No? Mm. Parang um, drag didn't happen even without drag race. Parang ganun siya sa akin. Uh -huh. Pero for the audience, because they aired first. Baliktad. Yeah, we are the challenger. So, mas malaki yung pressure. Mm sa akin lalo ngayon na parang ako yung hahamon. So parang syempre, Drag Race is already an institution. It's a well-known brand. And we're just a Filipino brand. I'm not saying it's just a Filipino brand. But in reality, um, people look at it that way. That this is just a Filipino brand. And I'm kind of used to it because, you know, it's a struggle of local filmmakers, mm. diba? You have foreign films getting a lot of audiences and here we are, mm. local artists struggling to get support. Mm. But I'm kind of used to that and I feel that at this point, I am confident that we don't want to be able to do what we're doing. This week, I'm trying to find a place where I belong You and my sense of feeling For a lot of Filipinos, drag is a new concept. But through drag then, they realize that Drag has always been here. Drag has always been part of our culture. Drag has always been part of the show business, of media. They just don't know that it was drag. Unlike other reality shows, na parang daging merong bida, may contra bida. Pinakita ko siya na ang pagkakaroon ng conflict ay natural. You know, kung mayroong conflict within the show, within the competition, it's simply because it's a competition, nothing more, nothing personal. But at the same time, I wanna highlight the sense of community, camaraderie, na nabubuo even in a competition setting. Because in reality, the buhay ng mga bakla sa Pilipinas ay isang malaking contest. Because the space for us is so small that we're like fighting for this space. Sa akin, I want it to be bigger. I want it to be bigger for everyone. Because, come on, ang daming talentadong queer sa Pilipinas. So, yun yung gusto kong ipakita through drag then, na it could be a competition, but at the same time, highlighting the spirit of community. Because at the end of the day, tayo tayo lang din yung magkakakampi. Kung sanay sila na ang drag queens ay nagli-lip sync, sa drag then, binigyan ko ng bosses 
yung mga drag queens. It's a different kind of voice. The voice that our society tried to suppress for a long time. Natatakot silang marinig tayo yung nagsasalita. Roll yourself into the look side. I have all twinkle twinkle. Nandito na kami, ang Prime Video pa, available worldwide. So, I'm very, very lucky and happy that I was given this opportunity to, to share the story of Filipino drag queens, the story of Filipino queer people to the world. With Manila Luzon, of course. <laughs>